Welcome to JBWork Studio. So in this episode, I'd like to share an upgrade with you that I made, and it is these touchscreens that you see right here next to me. So at first I thought this is too small of a project to share with you, but you know what? Sometimes you have something in your mind and you just wait a long time until you execute it, and I wish I would have done this upgrade years ago. If you follow my channel, then you know that I use Edding CNC, and this is a PC-based system. So the controller has a software that is installed on a regular PC. Now I use a laptop. Many people do that, just an old laptop will do, and it is floating around in the shop, and this thing is starting to get up in its age, and I decided to replace it with a standalone system that is just connected here to the machine. And one of the advantages or one of the things that I didn't have before is a touchscreen. So here you see my adding CNC layout and I love that. And one of the considerations was the size of the touchscreen and then also what type of computer to use and how to hook all of that together that you have something that can easily be maneuvered around and uh, it's not in your way and you can use it you know, as intended. So that is coming up right now. I will show the components that I've um, assembled here and how the whole thing works. So adding CNC is a PC-based system. It does need, a, the controller does need a separate PC to run. And I have always used my laptop. You never see that in any of my videos. It's to the side of the machine and uh, a little bit safer from all of the chips that are normally flying around. But I love to have the standalone system right here. I don't have to drag my laptop front back in the shop and connect it. And I have to uh, have a laptop stand as well that I made. And I'm not so happy with that either. But I'm going to show you that in a second. And right here, you see the new editing software that is actually version 5 that I have here running. And I really like the layouts they did and the functionality of the touchscreen. Now, let me show you the individual components to this. So let's start with the obvious, and that is the screen. So in the video, it looks huge, actually. It is not that big. It is 15.6 inches. It's an ASUS screen. Now, if you wonder if your controller would support a touchscreen, it's actually not specific to the touchscreen itself. So the touchscreen has a USB wire that goes to the computer. And if you touch on the screen or you make a mouse click, it's actually the same thing. So the computer doesn't know or the software doesn't know that you're not using a keyboard and a mouse. And by the way, keyboard, so anytime I uh, touch the bottom right here, I can bring up the keyboard and um, yeah, right here. So you can type uh, individual numbers and if you open a window, normally the keyboard comes up also. So that is not a problem. And one other thing that I noticed, which I'm probably going to I've never used before, but I think I will use now more, is the jog function. So I have a jog pad right here on the screen, and it's something that I honestly never use because I have my pendant. But because this is now so close right here to my work area, I can also see where this is very convenient to be used right now. Um, yeah, then one of the things I love to do on my CNC lathe is that if I have an open window right here, I can just touch the numbers and punch the numbers in right away without changing from the machine to the laptop. So it, it's right here in front of you. So that's one other thing that I really like. Um, yeah, and then on adding CNC itself, um, the nice thing is you can change that layout a little bit and the buttons that you like to have. So that is also a nice feature, but that was always there, that functionality. Now, let me turn this whole thing around and show you the PC that I've mounted to the back of the screen. So the PC that is running the whole system is actually a B-Link Mini S and it runs on the N100 chip that is plenty of power um, for not only this application, but I wanted to have something that in case I don't like this and I still have a PC that I can use somewhere else in my household. And that thing will definitely run more than I need. And it has a solid state drive. Now, this is not a fanless unit. So this is relatively cheap and um, it's adequate. 
but it's not a vanless unit. So why do you want a vanless unit? Because there's no indigestion of dust and that's of course a concern in a woodworking shop. So there is a little bit of a filter that I added inside of the housing and I think it will be fine, but it has a fan inside. Now, if you make an upgrade and you have a solid machine, then look for an industrial grade vanless mini computer. Now, I will um, actually attach two different versions so this one that i have right here and then a vanless unit as well that i like in the description below so the pc lives right here and there is a vesa mount on the back of the screen so the vesa mount goes onto this arm basically or the arm mounts via vesa mount onto the screen and the PC comes with a little bracket actually, and it also adapts to a VESA mount. So they already made it thinking that it will be on the back of the screen itself. So that worked out really well. And the star of this whole show, I think, is this Pixio arm. Well, here I am. <laughs> This arm is really high quality. When I unpacked it, I was instantly in love with it because it felt like a high quality item in your hands. And one of the things I really like is that it has a gas spring inside. So it doesn't matter if you have a heavy monitor or a heavy setup or a lighter one, you can adjust the gas spring and then it will hold in any position that you move it to. It will just keep that position nicely. And there's also a cable channel integrated in both of these arms. So the cable channel um, will route your wires and then for the wiring if um, if you have seen those all-in-one um, systems the Maso is one of one of them that that I think of uh, from top of my head is that you usually have a separate control box so you have the PC and what is running everything is up here and then you have a bundle of wires actually that go to the machine and through the control box and i don't have that there's really a power wire that i have here and then a network wire so that's just two wires that need to come up from the control box here and i also wired is so when i turn on the uh, the machine the pc and the screen then um, get power automatically and the PC wakes up automatically. I don't have to turn it on. So that is a BIOS setting actually that you can do in this B-Link. And in that setting, the PC comes on automatically. And then you can also add the, uh, on auto run, um, you can add adding CNC or your software that you have to auto run. And really all you do is turn on the machine and bloop, there is the software and there's everything you need. So I hope this short video was helpful to you and possibly I've inspired you to also add such a standalone system that I have right here to your CNC machine. All right, I'm going to catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye.